Hello friends, in this video we will discuss some questions from ISS 2019 paper 1. Let's first let's consider question number 23. The question is let W1 and W2 denote the standard errors of the sample means x1 bar and x2 bar of two independent random samples. The standard error of capital T equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar is 0 modulus of W1 minus W2 square root of modulus W1 square minus W2 square or square root of w1 square plus w2 square so given the standard errors of two sample means we can find the variance of x1 bar which is equal to w1 square and variance of x2 bar is w2 square and uh, here t is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar also uh, these x1 bar and x2 bar are the sample means of two independent samples and hence Therefore, we can find the variance of t which is equal to the variance of x1 bar minus x2 bar as sum of their uh, individual variance that is variance of x1 bar plus variance of x2 bar which is equal to w1 square plus w2 square. Therefore, the standard error of t will be equal to square root of w1 square plus w2 square. Therefore, option d is correct. Now let's consider question number 25. The question is, let x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 be random sample of size 5 from a population having standard normal distribution. If x bar equal to 1 by 5 summation i from 1 to 5 xy and t equal to summation i from 1 to 5 xi minus x bar the square, then expectation of t square into x bar square is equal to even x bar and t we have a result that x bar and ns square are independent and in this case we can write x bar and 5s square that is here n is equal to 5 which is the sample size is equal to 5 therefore we have x bar and 5s square which is equal to summation 1 to 5 xi minus x bar the square are independent and you can find the proof of this result from fundamentals of statistics by Gupta and Kapoor. So we can see that capital T which is equal to summation i from 1 to 5 xi minus x bar the square and is equal to 5 into s square. Uh, since x bar and t is found to be independent then therefore expectation of t square x bar square can be written as expectation of t square into expectation of x bar square since t and x bar are independent. Uh, from the expression of variance of t, we, we obtain expectation of t square as variance of t plus expectation of t the whole square into expectation of x bar. Now let's consider the distribution of x bar and t. Since given x i s are from normal distribution, we have uh, x bar is also normal with the mean 0 and variance 1 by 5. Thus square root of 5 into x bar will be uh, again a standard normal variate. Squaring we get 5 into x bar square uh, have an chi square distribution with 1 degrees of freedom and for chi square with the n degrees of freedom we have the mean is equal to n therefore the expectation of x bar 5 into x bar square will be 1 or the expectation of x bar is 1 by 5. Now let's consider the distribution of t. Uh, here t is equal to 5 into s square. We know the distribution of n s square by sigma square is chi square with the n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Uh, given the samples are taken from standard normal with the variance 1, therefore the sigma square is equal to 1 and n is equal to 5. Thus we have n into s square by sigma square which is equal to 5 into s square uh, follows chi square with the 4 degrees of freedom. Now for a chi-square variate with the n degrees of freedom, the expectation is n and the variance is 2n. Here we have the degrees of freedom is 4, thus the expectation will be equal to 4 and the variance will be equal to 8. Thus substituting these values in this equation, we get the variance of t which is equal to 8 plus expectation of t is equal to 4 and the square will be 16 into the expectation of x bar square which is equal to 1 by 5. Solving we get it is equal to 4.8. Therefore the answer is option C. 
Now let's consider question number 28. The question is, suppose that the five random variables x1, x2, etc, x5 are independent and each has a standard normal distribution. A constant c is such that the random variable c into x1 plus x2 divided by x3 square plus x4 square plus x2 square whole power 1 by 2 will have a t distribution. So here we have to find the value of c such that this random variable have a t distribution. When the random variables x1, x2, etc, x5 are independent standard normal variate, therefore we have the distribution of x1 plus x2 which is normal with the mean 0 and the variance 2 or we, we have x1 plus x2 by root 2 follows n01. Also uh, x3 square, x3 is a standard normal variate and its square will be a chi-square with the 1 degrees of freedom. Again similarly for x x4 square and x5 square and see, uh, since these observations are independent and is the sum of independent chi-square variate with 1 degrees of freedom distribution of x3 square plus x4 square plus x5 square will be chi-square with 3 degrees of freedom. Now we have the definition of t statistic which is the ratio of a standard normal variate to the square root of ratio of a chi-square variate divided by its degrees of freedom. Thus, we have x1 plus x2 by root 2 which is a standard normal variate divided by square root of x1 square plus x4 square plus x5 square which is a chi-square variate divided by its degrees of freedom. It follows uh, t distribution. Uh, therefore, comparing these two expressions, we get the value of c equal to square root of 3 by 2. Therefore, the answer is option B. Now, let's consider question number 9. The question is, if x is an f, that is f distribution with the degrees of freedom m and n, random variables where m greater than 2 and n greater than 2, then expectation of x into expectation of 1 by x equals n into n minus 2 by m into m minus 2 m into m minus 2 divided by n into n minus 2 mn divided by m minus 2 into n minus 2 and m into n minus 2 divided by n into m minus 2. For f distribution with the degrees of freedom m and n, the mean is given by the expression n divided by n minus 2 where n greater than 2. Also we know that if f is an, uh, if suppose f is a random variable with the distribution f m n, then 1 by f will follow f distribution with the degrees of freedom n comma m. Therefore we can write the mean of 1 by f as m divided by m minus 2 where m greater than 2. Given x is f with the m comma n, then one by, the distribution of 1 by x will be one f with the n comma m. Hence, we obtain the expectation of x into expectation of 1 by x as expectation of x is equal to n by n minus 2 and expectation of 1 by x is m by m minus 2. Therefore, their product will be equal to m into n divided by m minus 2 into n minus 2 where m greater than 2 and n greater than 2. Thus, the answer is option C.